What's up YouTube? The Vegan Silver Stacker here. And if you're watching from Steam it, I am Vegan Silver Stack. So, what I thought I would do today is like I said in my last video, I wanted to kind of document my whole powering down uh, from my Steam and then show you guys how I convert that into Bitcoin and then buy silver on either JM Bullion or Provident Metals with that Bitcoin. So, the first thing is, I actually can't do anything right now because I still have 19 hours until my power down happens because everything is down to the minute, down to the second. So like seven days ago, exactly seven days ago, in 19 hours, seven days before that, I initiated the power down. So what that means is, if I go to my steam power, if I click over here, right now I have the option to cancel down, cancel the power down, which I'm not going to do. I have the option to power down or buy. So I clicked the power down button. Then it'll say, are you sure you want to power down? Blah, 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 blah. You'll say yes. Okay. This is if you want to take your steam power. Remember, steam power allows you to have a vote. Okay. With my... 1167.499449 steam that gives me a vote of right now 11 cents at 64.8 percent so if this were at 100 percent it would be closer to like 18 or 19 cents but right now because the value of steam is right now it's not really 90, 97 cents it's closer to a dollar 25 as i'm doing this video but, so that fluctuates, okay? The estimated account value fluctuates based on the value of Steam. Your, um, how much you earn is affected by the value of Steam. And your voting power is all affected. This is all affected by the value of Steam. So if I go to market, coinmarketcap.com backslash currencies, go down to Steam, Right now it's worth a dollar twenty nine right like in this moment. So in the past twenty four hours it's actually gone up twenty seven percent, which is great. That's great because because <laughs> my power down is happening in nineteen hours, so hopefully it continues to rise. That way when I switch out to Bitcoin and then buy silver with it, I will have more sort of bang for my buck, right? I seem to use that term all the time. But anyway. Again, Steam Power. I clicked Power Down almost seven days ago. In 19 hours, it will be exactly seven days ago. So, when I am, when I, when this, what does that mean? Okay, so that means that when I clicked that button, Power Down, one thirteenth of the amount of Steam that I had at that moment, which was, I think, around 1,085 or 1,090. So one thirteenth of that, which I've seen has been 84 steam, is going to be put into my steam right here. It's going to be taken out of here and put into my steam. And that will happen every week that I allow the power down to continue. Now, the cool thing is you're allowed to cancel the power down anytime you want. Okay, so after I get paid out my first, first one thirteenth, of my steam power into steam I'm gonna go ahead and click that cancel power down because I don't want it to keep coming out I want to still have steam power and pretty close to what I had last week so I want to have more than a thousand so that's really my thing um, so when I do get the power down the first 13th I will come back and uh, show you what the next step is okay until then all right, we're almost there. All right, guys, I got, we're down to the nitty gritty 11 seconds until, I already have three steams, so let's see what happens in 11 seconds. Maybe I need to refresh. There it is, 87 steam, okay? 
So, what I'm going to do at this point is now I have 1089 uh, steam in steam power. I'm going to go ahead and cancel the power down because I really only wanted one uh, power down uh, sequence. So that was one thirteenth of that 1070 something that I had. Uh, so what I can do now is I'm going to go ahead and open my Exodus wallet. Okay. And what I'll do is actually before I do that, I'm going to go to um, block trades. Okay, this is where I I don't really use Poloniex anymore. I use block trades. So I'm gonna go from uh, Steam to Bitcoin because Bitcoin is what I want so that I can buy my silver, right? So estimated amount, well, I don't really, it was 87, <clears throat> about 87. So I should be able to get almost five cents Bitcoin. Okay, so my receive address for Bitcoin, that's, I need to open this. This is my, basically my wallet, my cryptocurrency wallet for a few things. Okay, so da, 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 Bitcoin, I need to go to Bitcoin. Now, receive, okay. I'm going to copy this address and I'm going to put this in here. Control V, get deposit address. So now send any amount of steam to the account named Block Trades with this memo. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the memo. Account named Block Trades. Hit transfer to Block Trades amount, I want to trade all of it, memo, paste, submit. Okay, you'll be amazed at how quickly this happens. Okay, the steam is already gone from my wallet. Okay, so I'll go ahead and da da da. Well, actually, you won't be amazed at how quickly this happens because Bitcoin is pretty slow to transact. But basically, I should have Bitcoin within the next probably 10 minutes or so. So, uh, we could sit here for a while and videotape. I could. I'm going to, actually. There it is. Just came in. $106 worth of Bitcoin just came in. So, that is so quick. I must have been at the tail end of the block time because I didn't edit that or anything. That was real time. So, that was less than a minute. Okay. So, now, now... I can go to uh, Provident, where I have my cart here. So I was thinking, you know what, I really don't want American Eagles, I want something else. So hold on a second. All right guys, so I had to play around with the numbers quite a bit. I ended up um, just to make, I need to do 100, over 100 to get free shipping, but I also have to be under 106 and probably under 104 because they're probably going to take a $2 transfer fee for the, the Bitcoin uh, to get out of my wallet. So uh, I landed on 101.65. I ended up getting one of those Indian quarter ounce silver rounds. I don't know. I don't own any fractional silver rounds. So this is a first for me, but I just did it to be able to kind of weasel my way in to getting both free shipping and being able to buy it with Bitcoin. So I've got uh, crap. I'm showing you what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm showing you what I'm getting. It's okay. So I'm getting five ounces of this silver new Athenian owl, which uh, I forget who it was on Steam, and I'm sorry I forgot who it was, but um, he posted, I think it was, was it Corvo? I think it might have been at Corvo. Well, he uh, did a post about, I think about his mailman and some, something like that. Uh, maybe I'll link it down below, but I really like this design of this uh, Athenian Owl. I also need an airtight for my uh, quarter ounce American Eagle of gold that I have. I don't have an, uh, a capsule for it, so I ordered one as well, 65 cents. So let's go ahead and check out. Uh, I'm going to kind of not show you this part because there's probably going to be a lot of personal information, but we'll see. I can always edit things out, so I'm just going to keep going. Okay, there's my address, so they're not going to be able to see that. Ship to this address, yes, continue. 
Alright, first class mail, large envelope, free. Three to five days transit, yes. Payment information, we're going to use Bitcoin. Continue. Alright, grand total is going to be 101.65. Agree to the terms and services. Place order. Now what I'm going to have to do, I'm pretty sure, is go down here and send it, you know. Okay. Scan, copy, open in wallet. Okay, scan this. No, I'm not going to do that. Copy, advanced use only. And include the exact amount of Bitcoin requested and a correction Bitcoin miner fee. Uh, Why can't I can do the exact amount? No way, no problem. All right, so copy this address. I'm gonna, and I think this part I can show everybody. Okay, so I'm gonna send, and actually my Bitcoin's becoming more, um, more. It has more value now than it did when I bought. So I'm sending to this Bitcoin address. Paste. Okay, now the amount has to be perfectly exact, they say. To complete your payment, please send blank by blank to the address below. Okay, so 0 0.04, and I can copy this amount. And then I'm going to go ahead and do this. Paste. That was the exact amount that they wanted. So it's there's a network fee of 143 to send this amount of Bitcoin, which is fine because I have the amount. So I'm going to go ahead and send. Okay. Now you'll see I only have $2.42 in my uh, Bitcoin wallet right now. Payment confirming. Look how quick this is though. This, p this fee, the payment was made with a low Bitcoin miner fee, which may prevent it from being accepted by the Bitcoin network. This is an issue with con configuration of your Bitcoin wallet. If the transaction doesn't confirm, the funds will be spendable again in your wallet. Depending on the wallet, this may take 48 to four, uh, 72 hours. Transaction created, transaction confirmed. So this basically, in my experience, takes about 20 to 30 minutes and then it'll say payment received. Okay, so, cool. View payment status. I guess there's an open thing. Cool. All right, well that's how you do it, guys. And I will show you when it gets confirmed. <clears throat> All right, guys, about 15 minutes later, uh, the invoice has been paid. So I got an email. And let's see, it just says, thank you for your order, we'll let you know when it ships. I'm being careful not to show you too much, but uh, just kidding. Um, so that's how you do it, guys. Thank you for your order, we'll let you know when it, when it ships. That's how you buy, that's how you buy precious metals with Provident Metals or JM Bullion using Steam that you've traded for Bitcoin. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.